So the surveyor came. The surveyor came to mark out where the foundations needed to be dug. Now he spent quite a lot of time looking at the drawings before he was able to do anything. The drawings were drawn by our architect and the 3D software that he uses seems to cause the simple drawings to end up getting lines on top of lines on top of lines and structures that the surveyors and other people using drawings expect to be one line end up being multiple lines. So what we're seeing here is um, the surveyor will have um, set up a station and he will have located exactly where that station is by reference to other survey points around the garden that were done by a previous surveyor. Uh, he'll have checked them as well. So this enables him to mark out our site in exact um, location um, on the earth, as it were. Um, so then he uh, follows his uh, little um, drawing that he's uh, created from the architect's drawing and uh, marks um, spots, marks spots at the, um, initially at the outside edge of the brickwork, no, the center line of the foundations he's doing here. Oh, sorry, I've jumped ahead. So this is center line of foundations um, and basically where the center lines of the foundations cross over he puts a little he puts a little um, dimple and then puts a little bit of spray paint on it so he can find it again later as you see there's quite a lot of them I like his little action when he bends over one leg goes out and the other goes down in fact when we were supposed to be coming back to do the the layout of the the um, blockwork walls, he couldn't come because his back was bad. I don't know whether there's something about his technique of bending that's compensating for his back being bad here. That leg comes out the back every time, doesn't it? So I was following him around like a shadow. That probably annoyed him. But I learned quite a lot about the technology and what he was doing. Of course, it's important that I know what all his spots are. Um, and in fact, I did spot that he'd missed one. So it was good that I was there to spot that. I think um, I counted the pins that he put in to mark and I think there were 36 altogether because I gave them back to him so they got recycled yeah these are the pins so he's got a, a bucket of um, or a bundle of um, pieces of rebar with a bit of paint on the end and so he finds his paint marks and bangs them into the ground so then we can use them for whatever purpose we want. I think he's just checking them now, making sure he's happy and telling me what they all mean. And uh, I think he's got a spray paint then, but it's it's almost the same colour as the soil, so it's not showing up that well. He was very skilled with that spray paint. He wrote some numbers somewhere, and I had a go at doing that. I couldn't do it at all. You can you can just about see the lines he's drawing on. I mean, in a way, it wasn't much point in doing that because some time passed before we were actually digging, 
and uh, these spray paint marks tend to go. And I don't think that the paints are massively good for the environment. Yeah, that's the one he missed there. I said, what about the pad for the balcony in that corner? And he went, oh, oh yes. And then he did it. So it was all good. And he went back to doing a bit of spraying. He put a line up between the the pins at the end, and then he sprayed it. Yeah. Is it yellow that he sprayed it with? I thought it was red. So he was here quite a while. I think he charged us for eight hours work, including looking at the drawings and um, travel time. Because he came from Bournemouth. And then Stuart, the main contractor, and Toby came. And they knew him, so they had a chat with him for a bit. And then he went. And that was it. Mostly. Put the machines back to bed. Now I've got to steer around his pins. We've got all sorts of pins around here, so I've got to be careful not to drive over them. I thought, ah oh, well, I'll have a go at spraying some of these lines on, make them a bit more obvious. I thought that'll look good. I've got blue. Uh, it shows up much better. Jamie didn't do it all in blue. That would have looked good, actually. It would have been a good video if you could see the outline of the house more clearly. I mean, that line I did, that's uh, like a 45 degree angle of the window. The rest of it is like L shaped. So. Uh, You can see it, it's red, it's paint. So we're coming up to the front door, under the overhang, and into the house. It'll be a bit higher when it's built into the hallway we could go up the stairs here if they were there they're not so i won't do that i'll go downstairs along the passageway past the bedrooms on my right back to the angle window around the corner down the passage into the master bedroom which is surprisingly small in my view up at the thin end it's only about two meters wide so can't push the bed up that end back out of the master bedroom into the bathroom the bathroom's massive Bathroom's bigger than the bedroom. <laughs> Probably isn't. Seems like it is. Into the next bedroom. And back along here. We've got a door here somewhere. I think it's about here. Out through the door. Across into the Plant rooms are a bit full of stuff. Back out along the outside path, strip around this digger. So there's 
foundation for the plant room corner along here some sort of retaining on that soil on the right up here job done